Welcome YouTubers, welcome to my channel Mr. Reef Buster, this is your host Monty. Um, if you, for those of you who have seen um, my review of the tunes Aqua Wind, uh, Aquarium Fan, um, you know that I wasn't fully satisfied with that product. Um, I actually gave it a thumbs down. But the thumbs down is not for that product itself. Um, partially, you know, you can't just say a product is bad. You know what I mean? Just because it doesn't work for you does not mean it will it will not work for everybody else. It might work for other people. Depends on your setup. Um, because when it comes to saltwater tanks and all, every setup, no two setup will ever be the same. No two tanks will have the same needs um, and wants. So it all depends on your setup and how you have it set up. So some people might have success with the product, some won't. So you cannot just blame a product solely based on that. Partial blame comes on you as well. So that product did not work for me. So I went and found an alternate solution. Now in that video I did mention that I wasn't gonna buy a chiller. I didn't I don't have the mind, you know, this money to spend three, four, five hundred dollars and get a chiller for a nano tank. So I looked around, I went to I, I mean I was shopping at Walmart a couple of weeks after since then and I'm like let me go check out the fans they have. Maybe I could just use a desktop fan and find something better. So I think I found it and I'm gonna show you guys that product today. So this is Lasco blower fan. As it says on the front, it's a multi-purpose pivoting utility fan. So this is the kind of fan construction people use on uh, the construction site or people using use their garages or if they want a really strong output of fan air coming out. Um, so they people use this for heavy duty usage. Now from the previous video I mentioned my tank tank temperature was as high as 85 degrees so I needed something drastic and this might be the answer um, it's still early to tell I, oh, I've been only using it for about a week um, but so far it's doing a way better job than any of the other fans I got in the past now let's go ahead and take a look and let's just look on the outside and see what you get with it now price wise I paid forty dollars for it at home uh, Walmart so it's affordable it's not gonna break your bank and let's see it's a rugged feature and it's a pivoting head blower head which means this piece that the side where the air comes out you can pivot it up and down so this way it directs the air at one exact direction instead of spreading it all over the place like some other fans do so you get a direct airflow uh, really strong direct airflow with this fan also another good thing is it has three power option power levels one is those uh, weakest three is the highest um, you get a 10 foot cord grounded with a grounded plug in it and you get two 10 amp uh, which is basically 5 amp each outlet 120 volt accessory outlets so if you plug it in, you can add two more equipment if you want on, on top of it, so it will piggyback off of this fan. Another plus, you know, that's a win for me. And Lasco, if you haven't heard about them, they're not bad. They're not bad. They've been they've been doing this for a while, almost a hundred years. So if you know fans, Lasco is one of the good companies. So it's not like this is a knockoff Chinese brand. This is you know they're 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 um, reputable company. So let's look on the side of the box and see what information you get. So the blade size. It doesn't say what the blade size is. It's got three speeds. 270 degrees pivot and it's got a carrying handle so you can carry it and it comes fully assembled with a one-year limited warranty um, if you guys want to um, the, the fan is not inside I'm using it currently but I will show you the fan working uh, the setup in my tank so you can get a look of how it, it's, it works 
Uh, so let's pause the video. Let's go to my tank, my sump actually, so you can take a look at how this fan is working right now. So here you, you can see the fan, um, the blower fan in action right now. It is uh, situated right behind my sump refugium, right on top of my freshwater um, in our water reservoir standing right on top of it as you can see there's a lot of air coming out as you can see by the water movement it is a very strong fan I won't lie to you guys um, now the temperature like I did mention it, it it is maintaining the temperature and I'll show you guys that in a second um, now now some of you might say hey you know you can just get a chiller and just you know not have this issue because with the fan like this, it does evaporate a lot of water. Um, but we'll talk about that in a second as well. Let me guys show. Let me show you guys the temperature right now. Um, it's at 78.9 degrees Fahrenheit, and the probe for this thermometer is actually inside my display tank um, because that's where I want to know what the temperature is. Um, that's where all the livestock is. So the fan is doing its job now. Does the temperature fluctuate throughout the day? Yes, it does. Um, probably during midday it goes up to about 80 or 81 degrees maybe um, but usually it stays where I need it to stay now I am gonna be hooking up a temperature con uh, hooking this up to a temperature controller so you can control when the fan turn needs to be turned on and off uh, right now I have it on a constant on because it's been really hot the last couple of days um, so that's why I have the fan running like this now back to the topic about aquarium um, chillers now i could easily get a chiller but it will cost me about anywhere between four to five hundred dollars to get a chiller and after setting up this tank i don't have that kind of a budget right now nor do i have the real estate to be honest and even if i did have the real estate i could always go with the diy option uh, joey king of diy he did a video on how to build your own aquarium chiller out of a portable um fridge um so I, I guess that's an option as well down the road or what I can do is since the room that this tank is in the heat traps up a lot I might just put an air conditioner in the room just to make sure um, you know there's enough the, the air on the tank is not too hot but with that being said guys this is was a quick video I'm gonna end it uh, right here if you have any questions or comments leave it in the comment section below if you have if you know any cheap um aquarium chiller that you know of that will satisfy a 45 gallon tank you let me know as well because i haven't i have yet to find one and here's the fan here's the fan one more time and um um the box i'm just going to show you the model number this way if you guys want to purchase this exact one you can go ahead and do so look it up online um or you can go to um walmart and see if they have it um like i said um i'm gonna do a full video of my lagoon tank my nano tank the, that video will be coming up in a couple in a day or two or so uh, so stay tuned for that if you're following the build process for the nano lagoon tank um, if you haven't subscribed yet please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button and if you like the video hit the thumbs up and appreciate you guys watching the video uh, hopefully enjoy the rest of your day and happy reefing guys take care